Woo! Said I was raised in the days of my space and screen names Back then when I was only worried about my top friends Now my circle is getting smaller, all these people acting fake, man And to be honest, I don't even have a top ten Me against the world, I've been doing what I really love hey, Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video um, I did trial saying good evening um, in was it my last video or the one before? And then everyone said that was a bit weird because it clearly wasn't evening when I was actually filming the video. So we're going back to good morning. It's not actually very good morning this morning because I've woken up feeling a bit ill. I think I've just been burning the candle at both ends recently. I've just had a lot on and been away and I've spent this week really trying to catch up with work and now I'm just feeling a little bit drained. So I started off my day with that carrot, ginger and lemon shots, which probably won't do anything. But I like to kind of believe that putting something good in my body is gonna make me feel a bit better. But I'm gonna have Liz vitamins, cold and flu tablets, and first events. So hopefully I can like stop a cold in its tracks. My sister's down in London staying with me this week and she's kind of helping me with work things and yeah, just general admin stuff. So we're actually gonna go into London today and we're gonna go thrift shopping. So I feel like in England we usually call it like vintage or charity shopping, but in America you always call it thrift shopping. So I'm gonna go thrift shopping today. Um, so I think we're gonna head to Shoreditch, which is like East London. Um, it's actually where both my stepsisters live and we're just gonna go and check out a load of shops. We should be really, really fun and then maybe get some lunch and things like that. But before we do that this morning, I think we're gonna head to the gym in Battersea and film a workout and then we'll go into London, so I'll see you there. So we just finished up filming at the gym. This is Hayley. I feel like Hi. you have been on my channel before, yeah, from haven't you? Island. Mm. Yes, yeah. trip to Ireland. Um, but we, I've, well, I've just showered after filming some workouts at the gym. We're gonna get a taxi from Elliot's flat where we're at the moment to Brick Lane and start our thrift shop day. Haters been hiding behind the screen, man, they movie cuts. And when I'm back at home, it never feels the same. Cause we've been doing our own thing, trying to stay up. I wanna go back to days with no grace. We ordered the kids, meal, play ball, that's all day. Annie with her plants. <laughs> it would go really well on my little hanging thing. Do you know what I think? You're so obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in focus, but you look so funny. Is that an auto? So you. That's so me. I really like these ones. Wait, let me try the red one. I actually genuinely want to get these ones. I really like them. Oh, they go with your top. I feel like they'd be really cool in like a. If I had a festival to go to, it'd be good, but I don't have a festival to go to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna see the red ones. <laughs> Whoa, what the party? Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. I feel like that'd be really huge. Yeah. Yeah. What do we think pattern wise? They're quite similar, aren't they? I think I like this one. Oh, see, oh, I, I, I like that one. <laughs> That looks really nice. Yeah. It's so cool. Love the, I love the blue one. So cute. I really like it. Yeah. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'd say go for it. Yeah. Oh, it's 
so adorable. Yeah. So nice. Definitely try them on. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. I see what you mean, you'd probably want them to be a bit higher. That's it? Oh my god, it looks so cute! Successful. We've got quite a lot already. <laughs> and he's found some more plants. Prints maybe for my best That lovely latuka or pelican. <laughs> oh, I love it with the jeans. <laughs> Such good luck. Not convinced. Three pairs growing on me. Okay, so we're back from London. I thought I'd show you properly what we bought because I feel like the clips are probably not very pieced together very well and I don't think I filmed everything that I bought and I think some of the things that I tried on I didn't end up buying. So here is my thrift shop haul from today. So Starting off with the first shot. So I did get this scarf and I've got plaits in my hair so it's not very easy to show you what it would look like. But I was thinking of wearing it like, you've just got to picture that my hair's down right now. Like, not like that, not like that. <laughs> like, probably like this way. Tied at the back when you've got like a little bit of scarf coming down. Obviously my hair will be down if that makes sense. Um, or alternatively, just like tie and get in one of my ponytails, not in a plait again. Uh, I realise this looks really ridiculous right now, but tying it in my ponytails. There's actually a picture of me on my Instagram page with the same kind of thing, so it sort of like hangs down. Or yeah, just like as a cute accessory. But I think this material was so nice. There you go. I think this was eight pounds, which is actually not really that cheap. Um, I don't think that like thrift stores in London are very cheap, to be honest. I think to get the cheap things, you need to go to charity shops. I used to do a lot of charity shop shopping when I was living in Cheshire, which is where I'm from, and also in Nottingham as well, because there were a load of charity shops there. They've got loads of great stuff. You just need to really have time to go through everything in there, I find, but it's easy to find bargains, whereas I feel like especially on Brick Lane, which is where we were. The shops are generally quite overpriced. But having said that, you are still buying secondhand, which is obviously much better for the environment anyway than buying new things. So in that shop, Hayley bought this black corduroy shirt, which I'm really, really jealous of and kind of wish that I found this first. But I think these kind of things are just so, so good for wearing over like little tops and things like that, especially in the winter when you go out and it gets a little bit colder, you don't want to be in a full on coat or anything. So yeah, you could just sort of wear it over this top, I guess, with jeans. Really, really useful. I think this was 25 pounds, so not really a bargain, um, but a really useful item anyway. Then in the next shop, you will have seen me try this on, but I bought this LS or LSE. I don't know how you actually say it, but I say LS. And this little sports top, which I thought was really, really useful. I could wear this in the summer, I'd wear it in the winter. I could also wear it in the gym if I'm having a day where I don't want to just wear a sports bra. And again, this was, I think this was like 20 quid, which is quite a rip off for what it is. However, I know that I'll wear and wear this. Like I always wear tops like this. I think it's a very flattering shape on me. I always like high neck things usually. Um, and just really like the color as well. So the next thing that I bought was a sweatshirt. And it's this yellow colour sweatshirt with like multicoloured writing on. I absolutely love sweatshirts. Like I've honestly got so many of them already. Probably didn't need a new one. I'm planning on selling a load of my old ones on Depop. So I will link my, I think my Depop name is Annie OBX. But I'll link it in the description of this. And probably on the screen as well if you want to check that out for all of my old clothing. But anyway, this is a new yellowy coloured jumper. 
It's actually a bit of like a manky yellow colour, but I think it's really nice and really cool. It's very oversized, so I think this will be more of like a round the house thing. I might even consider taking it in at the bottom, um, just so like it's a little bit shorter in length. But I just think this is really cool and it's the quality is very good for vintage. This is from Rocket. I actually can't remember where the first two items were from. I didn't take note of the name, but this one was from Rocket and it was £25. I think it's quite reasonable. I think the sweatshirts at Brandy Melville are about £25 as well. Um, and for something that's quite good quality, I think that's really, really good. I'm super happy with this purchase. I've only got one other yellow sweatshirt and I absolutely love the colour as well. The next thing that I bought from this shop was a bit of a weird one for me because I've never had anything like this before, but it was that gold belt you might have seen. So, this is the belt up close. So just need something really, really funny about it. So it's actually got these like weird charms on them. And most of them are hearts, so I hadn't really noticed this. But one of them, one of them is like a squash racket. Like I'd say it was a tennis racket, but it's way, it's way too like thin at the top to be a tennis racket. So I'm going with a squash racket, which I think is quite funny. I don't know if you can see it properly there. Look, considering I play squash, so I've got a belt with a jangly squash racket on. So I think what I'm actually gonna do, um, just because I think that's a bit weird. Oh wait, these are the other charms, by the way. So they're like little heart charms. I don't know if that's gonna focus. So like little heart charms, which I think are so cute. Um, but I think these are quite easy to take off. So I'm obviously gonna take off the squash racket one because it's a bit weird. Um, and I could maybe put it on my keys instead. I don't know. Um, but as I showed you in the shop, this just looks really cool over jeans. A little bit gypsy like this. Um, and it's just got a little hook thing. So you can adjust it to the size you want. I just think it's so cool, especially if you're wearing like an all black outfit or like all denim outfit. It just gives it a little bit of extra like zhuzh kind of thing. And um, this was 20 pounds, which isn't like the cheapest but i don't think it's like an absolute rip off because it's quite an original like piece so from the next shop i bought this scarf which i'm actually going to wear at the top i've got another scarf that i bought recently that i've done the same with and um, but it's basically like a long thin scarf in this print which i think is so so pretty um and i'm just going to wear it like as a bandeau top and tie it at the back. And this was only five pounds, which for a silk scarf, I think is quite a good bargain. And if you can use your imagination, I'll be tying it at the back like that. Really, really happy with this. I think that's really pretty. And five pounds for a top is obviously very, very cheap. So the last thing that I bought is this red velvety, like really weird item. Sorry, those are my Smarties that I had on the way back. And um, so, Still not sure about this, a um, bit of a rogue one really. I think it's kind of like ugly cool, like it's velvet and a bit like snakeskin patterny. And I'm not sure yet whether I wanna wear it as a dress or as a top. I don't know if it was like the most flattering thing as a dress. So I think if I could cut the bottom or like start the bottom and then tie it as a top, I think it could be a bit better. But in the winter, I'm always looking for long sleeve items of clothing because I don't have many of them. And in England, it's obviously very cold. So I never find myself wearing short sleeve things. So this would be great under a coat and over a pair of jeans or something like that. So that is everything that I bought today. I feel like I'm really happy with most of those purchases. Haven't been properly vintage store shopping for ages, which is weird because I live in London and it's obviously really, really good here. But when I was younger, I remember I'd get my dad to like give me a little bit of money so I could go to all the charity shops find really good purchases and then sell them on like eBay or Depop for a little bit more and make some money off them. So I've always really, really enjoyed being able to like trawl through old items and things like that. I've also stolen loads of like my mum's old retro clothes and I wear them now, which is really, really cool. So I just think it's great to be able to buy secondhand items as well as new things. So I'm gonna leave the video here guys, but I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. Let me know if this is the kind of thing you want to see more of on my channel as well. Also make sure you remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.